Design. I'm sitting here in the NVIDIA offices uh, in Silicon Valley, California, and I'm with Jesse Clayton, who is the Senior Manager for Product Management here. And we have, we're looking at a deep learning demonstration here, uh, but really quickly beforehand, can you explain what the difference is between training and inferencing in deep learning? Yeah, absolutely. So there's really two pieces of deep learning. The first is the training activity. Mm -hmm. This is where you're showing a system many, many, say it's images of things that you wanted to learn. Um, you show it hundreds of thousands or millions of images, and you tell it what's in those images. So you show it a car, tell it that's a car. Show it a person, tell it that's a person. Right. And through this process, it learns how to detect what's in these images. Mm -hmm. So that's training, that's the first part. After the training is done, that produces a network or a model. That model can then be used for the second piece, which is inferencing. Inferencing is when you're showing it things it hasn't seen before, and since it's learned, it can tell you what is in those things. Right. So you show it a picture of a car, and it tells you that's a car. You show it a picture of a dog, it tells you that's a dog. Great. Um, so we've got a demo here, but can you explain really quickly what's going on, what the uh, various elements are here, and uh, how it works? Absolutely. So this is called the Jetson TX1 Developer Kit. This is NVIDIA's Developer Kit for Jetson TX1. And Jetson TX1 is a module that we built specifically for artificial intelligence for intelligent machines like robots, UAVs, etc. And what we're demonstrating is a deep learning inference demo running on the Jetson TX1 Developer Kit. Okay. And how does it actually work? Can you walk us through it? Sure. So we've taken a neural network and we've trained it on over a million images. Okay. And now it can we can show it new images and it'll tell us what is in those images. Mm. So it's never seen this picture here of this ambulance before, but it's telling us with 95% confidence that it believes that, that is in fact an ambulance. Okay. So we can sh do another one, golden retriever cowboy hat. <laughs> this one's kind of interesting. It picked up on the cowboy hat as being the relevant feature here. And actually, if you could go back to the golden retriever, an interesting aspect here is that it's not finding that it's a dog or that, you know, and the other the other infer or inferences that it's making aren't wildly inaccurate, like it's a bicycle or it's uh, you know, a mail truck. They're types of dogs. So it's a golden retriever, and then it thought there was a possibility it could be a Labrador retriever a collie, a German Shepherd, but it's with 98% accuracy uh, indicating that this is a golden retriever. So what are the uh, different elements over here that are enabling this to happen? Sure. So this tool is called the Deep Visualization Toolbox. Uh, this was developed by uh, a researcher. It wasn't here at NVIDIA, but this is a really good tool for understanding how deep learning actually works. So the way a deep neural net is organized is by layer. Mm -hmm. You can see the different layers across the top of the tool right here. But let's look at the ambulance. I think that's a really good one yeah. for illustrating how this works. So the first layer of the neural network, that's where the image is being fed in. And that first layer in this case is looking over small, say 11 by 11 pixel regions within the image, across the whole image. Mm -hmm. Now these black boxes here are the neurons within that first layer. And the ones that uh, where you see it being illuminated um, are being excited by this image. So let's look at some of the ones that are the most illuminated and see what they do. Okay, so this neuron is looking for vertically oriented edges. So mm -hmm. places in the image where there's a light area next to a dark area. And you can see in the image here the places where it's picking those up. So the light panel next to the dark window, right. the light tailgate next to the dark light. Let's look at the one next to it. So this one's looking for the opposite. It's looking for an edge that goes from dark to light. Right. Now there are other neurons that are looking for diagonally oriented ed uh, edges, horizontally oriented edges. And the cool thing about this is that nobody told the neural network to look for, ed for edges. <laughs> It just determined through the training process that edges are a good way to distinguish between dogs and ambulances and cowboy hats. Right. <laughs> now as we go deeper into the neural network, it's putting together larger and larger aggregations mm -hmm. of the features that it has seen before. So the next layer, rather than looking for edges, it'll be looking for combinations of edges like corners or like stripes. Let's pull that up here. Here's two more that are being illuminated in this layer. So you see this uh, neuron is looking for a red area next to uh, a, a grayscale area, so light and dark uh, 
uh, regions within the image. The one next to it is looking for alternating red and white colors, so kind of a stripe pattern. Mm -hmm. As we get deeper and deeper into the neural network, it's putting together larger and larger aggregations uh, of, the, of the things that it's seen before until it gets to the final layers where it's looking at the entire image and it can determine that this ambulance that it hasn't seen before belongs to the same class of ambulances that it has seen before. That's excellent stuff. Well, thanks Jesse, that was a nice little tutorial there, crash course for you on deep learning if you didn't uh, know much about it before. I'm Brandon Lewis from Betty Computing Design. Have a good one.